Hi folks, welcome back. Hope you're keeping well. I'm back out to pick up on the explorer of this pine forest. I've just stopped off here for a little bit of light. Everywhere is so grey this morning. It's really overcast. We've got all sorts of mixed weather possible today. But I've seen three deer this morning, so already it's worth the trip. In the last couple of weeks, what I've done is I've highlighted on a map a couple of locations of interest and then I've done my best to try and incorporate them into the vlog but it's just too much to have multiple locations and get a sensible video size so I'll pop a map up now and I'll just show you the route I'm going to roughly take and the area that I'm targeting and then I'm going to be working in and around or on the periphery of that area if I go outside of that, I'll let you know and I'll, I'll adjust the map accordingly, but I think it's the easiest way for me to try and just, just really check out the place fully, have a look at it from different angles, walk around the outskirts, view it from different angles of light, and uh, this is all brand new. It's all brand new to me on foot. I've done exactly as I said I would last week, edging in towards the main body of the forest. Uh, away from the southern trails so let's see what it brings I've not spotted a thing worth a feather this morning <laughs> really haven't it's just so grey but it's very quiet it's very still I'll mooch on as I find any compositions I'll of course bring you back try and explain my thinking I'll see you in a while <laughs> So, composition, if only one today, this obvious tree, how smashing is that? One lovely burst of deep copper right in the thick of this forest. So I should be able to find a composition in there somewhere. I uh, don't know what to do, whether to break the camera out or wait and see if this, this, this rain passes. It's very grey, I don't think it's going anywhere. So I might have to just break the camera out, crack this shot off and then try and find some shelter. Ugh. Okay, let's do that. Back in a second. It's gone so dark. It's unbelievable the change in just a, a very short period of time. I've tried to take a shot on here, but I've got, I just have no light. I can't, I can't imagine I'm going to be able to do much with it. It's just very, very beautiful. And all I shot at was, uh, I tried to just bung it in the centre of frame. I mean, I'll crop this square, no doubt. I might even go for a, a four by five down the centre, uh, maybe reduce some of that sky just a tad. But I shot at one second, F4, uh, down one stop at ISO 50. Just using ISO 50 to try and get as much of the, the dynamic range down at the bottom. Oh, here comes the snow. Did say, didn't I? Or maybe I didn't, that we've got a bit of everything coming today. Yeah, definitely some snow in there. Right, I'm going to pack my camera away rather than just wet it through. There's not a lot of points, there's not a lot of compositions. Okay, wrap up, move on, speak to you in a bit. Bye for now. And then we get some absolutely fantastic light burst through. Uh, I've just come up here, wandered along. This was all lit up, orange. It was stunning. So I thought, oh, I'll get some of those silver birch. And there are some nice shots because it's so dense in the background there. I can't make my way into here because this is, I think this is fenced off to protect it, to allow it to grow. I don't really know what's planted, whether it's just been taken back as heathland or, or what but obviously there's a reason for the fencing and so may it be a few silver birds I'm no sooner around the perimeter light behind us so this is all optimal shooting territory so what I might do is I might walk over to that tree line and do a loop try and take in any silver birch I can and then on my way back down here hopefully we've got a bit more light 
and I can grab some of these babies here. Frankly, I'll just be happy to keep moving right now because I am bitterly cold. I don't know what the temperature is, it's got to be oh, down near freezing. But the wind, there's quite quite a gusty wind blowing through and uh, when that catches you just right, boy, is it nippy. So keeping moving is a wise thing if you can. Drop your tripod, take your shot and get going again. Right, okay. We may not be at a total loss. Shame about that little copper tree. It's a pity we didn't have some light for that, but I know where it is, so I can always pop back for him if I'm if I'm in or around this area in the next week or two. Make my way to this this perimeter, and then bring you back if I find any as I find compositions around there, because I'm sure I will. So I'll see you in a moment. I'm just up around the uh, that's the top corner. I started off way down the bottom corner over there, walked along that trail, come up along this edge, haven't found any silver birch, I can find compositions on. Got to this corner and there's this trail leading up here. And it just looked quite entertaining. So I have taken a slight detour, but I only went about halfway along. It looked like there may have been some sort of a mixed woodland at the end, but I think it's quite sparse and quite young. So I haven't, I haven't gone much further. As I got about halfway down, it started to rain again. The light's gone, or going, and it is oh, so challenging today. So difficult. It would be difficult if we had brilliant light, but with this it's just, oh, man. That rain's coming. I have to share it, I have to share it, I have to share the journey. Good, bad, indifferent, shots or no shots. This is this week's reality. Uh, scared a few deer. Didn't get a shot on that, that copper tree as I wanted. Light was just too grim and it was raining too much. Silver birch, I haven't given it up down here. I haven't taken a shot, not a single one. So, I just wanted to update you. I'm gonna carry on, see the rest of that out, and then I'll catch up with you in a bit. Okay, simple composition on this tree. It's so beautiful. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because I can't really do it just this. Bottom right hand thirds, leaning out up and across to the top left hand corner of frame. A small slither of the base there in frame. And the sun is about here. And when I started setting up for this shot, I had a really atmospheric sky, so I was going to basically silhouette the tree and take the detail out of the sky, the highlights. I've taken a few shots, that's kind of what I was aiming for, but the sun's just about here, so that gap needs to work its way across. We could stop here for 10 or 15 minutes watching it go, but <laughs> is it going to make it? Is it just going to appear? Might do, you know. 1 to the second, f8, at exposure focused on the left hand side of those branches and the little bits of red there are just guides to show that I've actually got the the body of the branches in focus. Just adjusted my shutter speed down to make it that little bit brighter. Went 0.7 and the stop over. Just on the off chance I can pull some shadows out. Oh, that sun's coming now. Look. 40th. It's like fishing, it's like it's like throwing a worm out into the river and not knowing if you're going to catch anything. So anyway, onwards, let's see if we can find another. I've walked to the perimeter of this field, came in down here, found that trail. Walked over to the far side and I wandered over there. Got into the top corner and shut off into that wood. That's when it starts to rain again. I've come back along this path down here and now I've dropped into this little wood. Little wood, I don't know how big it is. It's beautiful though. Uh, how do I summarise it? Um, exceptionally change, changeable. 
the sun's out, it's in, it's misty, it's raining, it's snowing, sun's out, it's in. <laughs> it's very difficult to even evaluate an area uh, without some sort of consistent light. Just a few minutes would do, but it's not even stopping stable for that length of time. The clouds rolling really fast and it's, it's just not a great day for landscape woodland photography. It is, how, it is, however, a good day for some recon. And yeah, I've added places now to my uh, list of places to visit when the weather's right. And that's always a positive thing. That's always motivating. I know that uh, I've got a certain variety of woodland for certain types of weather. It's going to make me do a lot of thinking today. Places I've seen, where they are in you know, relationship to one another. See, even now, that sun's just bursting up again. <laughs> and no sooner will it come out, I'll turn around and it'll just dip behind a cloud again. You can't, you can't even set your gear up in time to take advantage of it. It's that changeable, but no complaints from me. It's been, uh, it's been an interesting day. What I liked about this is the, obviously the scale of these trees, magic, but how dense it is. It's just a bit black. There's just no light on the horizon at all. However, there's a lot of space between me here and the first trees, which is unusual. Don't normally get a lot of forest floor before the trees begin. So I've got into a portrait orientation to try and capture some of the scale and I've just taken a couple of shots. If I'm at exposure you can see the forest looks very black uh, and that's because the sky is so bright. I think when I took probably my best chance of a shot I was 0.3 over, I've gone under as well. Shows you on the histogram how <laughs> The brights have blown out and the shadows are too too saturated. So even this, even this simple little forest shot, it's just not letting it up today. It's just not letting it up. I have come out and done some more exploring. I've took the weather that I've been granted and sometimes it's, it works and sometimes it doesn't. And today it really hasn't. But I'm not, I'm not actually downbeat about it. I'm quite motivated because I know that next week what I'm going to do is head into what's behind me. So I've, I've kind of covered the south and the eastern quarter and now I'm going to head into where the pines are. So regardless of the weather next week, even if it is pitch black, uh, I will be able to, to get into the pines and do some more pine shots. And that really, I think, will be my focus for next week. So not going to mess about. I'm going to uh, collect my gear now. <sighs> Okie dokie. I'm going to call this one a wrap. I have to. I'm not getting anywhere. <laughs> not getting anywhere fast. So any shots from today that I get, I'll pop them up now as usual. But uh, I don't think I have too much this week, so it may only be one or two shots. And then next week, we'll head into this bad boy over here and we'll do some uh, deep pine forest exploration. Check that out. Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to that, to be honest. It's nice to just get in there and up to your, up to your waist in brambles. Let's see what that brings. Hopefully we've got better weather. But for this week, I'm going to thank you very much for watching. Ask you to please take care of one another. And as ever, if you can't be good, just be careful. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.